Welcome everyone. In this video, we are in the Great League, showcasing some very dominant battles featuring Metacham. My goodness, guys. Um, I have run this team many times on this channel in the past, but I know a lot of you are new to the channel. And I did feature this team in my top five best teams for the Great League, guys. This was team number three. And uh, it runs um, Metacham in the back. This is an XL Metacham, guys. Um, level f close, pretty, pretty close to level 50. I think it's like a 49 or so. Uh, rank 3 XL, you don't get much better than that. Uh, technically, I guess if you have a rank two or one, uh, that is better, but you guys get it. Metacham is an absolute beast, guys. We are running counter, psychic, and ice punch on our Metacham. Um, super tanky, uh, such a monster in the Great League, guys. This team also runs Bastidon in the lead. Now, this is not an XL Bastidon. I, I read a lot of you guys' comments asking if it makes a big difference, whether they're XL or not. It is a marginal difference, guys. Um, very marginal. You got to use what you have. I say that all the time on this channel, guys. This is not an XL Bastiodon. Still going to get the job done. You guys will see in these battles. Bastiodon is an absolute tank. You guys probably all know whether running it or battling up against it. It is an absolute monster. Um, so this team uh, leads with Bastion. You're going to be resisting Charm. You're going to be walling those Flyers. And also on this team, we've got Sableye, guys. Again, this is not um, a fully exiled Sableye, guys. I just powered up my level 40 a few to couple times. It is a level 42. Um, again, this team, if you do have the XLs for all of these or, or, or some of them, go with the XLs. It's definitely going to be better. But again, guys, it is marginal. And the non-XLs actually do have a few advantages in uh, the mirror matchups. So keep that in mind, guys. It's not, it's not everything having them be XLs. But the XLs are definitely uh, an added plus. For sure, guys. Sableye, fantastic safe swap. Sableye just puts out so much damage, guys, that you were just able to flip so many uh, mid-game matchups with it. One of my favorite safe swaps right up there at Vigoroth, guys. Um, I've featured this team so much on this channel, but I wanted to give you an updated look at this team, seeing as though it was featured in my top five best teams for the Great League. So I really wanted to show you guys how to play this team. And here we go. Alolan Ninetales, you don't get much better of a lead than this. And they just swap into a uh, defense Deoxys, and we go right into Sableye. Sableye just shuts all that defense Deoxys nonsense right down, guys. Uh, DD cannot do very much to Sableye. We're going to let that first Thunderbolt go through. We can tank that very easily, and we are going to farm up to two foul plays. Um, basically, guys, if they safe swap into a uh, defense Deoxys, it has no chance of winning if you take it, if you go shield for shield. And they did shield up that first foul play. Um, wisely so, guys. They really need to maintain switch advantage, but it is not going to happen with Sableye. Sableye is probably top three best answers to a defense form Deoxys. We did shield up that first Psycho boost uh, just because we are low, but because they threw it, we can tank the second one. It's not going to take us out, and we can Shadow Claw down. Now, I got a little greedy here, guys, trying to get to that return. I don't know what I was thinking. I should have just thrown the foul play to Chip, but it really doesn't matter when you have a Bastiot on, and they go right into their own Metacham, guys. Metacham up, against, up a shield, up against an opposing Metacham, uh, there's no chance. <laughs> They're going to throw this psychic. We can tank that no problem. And uh, they see the writing on the wall, guys. That's going to be a good game to this battle. Or very well played. And we are off to a great start with this Metacham Bastiodon team. Guys, if you like what you're seeing, give the video a like. That is the best thing you can do to really help this channel out. This is an amazing team. I had so much fun with it, guys. I've featured it so much in the past. It's so, such a strong team, guys. And again, I did feature it in my top five best teams for the Great League video, guys. If you have not yet seen that video, hop on the channel, check it out. 
so many good teams featured in that video this was one of them and here we go we got an altaria this is the dream lead for this team guys and they know it they swap right into a hypno and we come right in with metacham they take one look at metacham and they say i am out of here um i don't i don't blame them guys that was uh that was ridiculous uh, get it together niantic but a uh, good game to them nonetheless my goodness, I felt so bad for that battler in that last battle. Niantic really did them dirty with that matchup. That was uh, ridiculous. But uh, anyways, let's see how we can play out of a lead loss, guys. Here we go. Stunfist, terrible lead for our Bastion. We go right into Sableye. They meet us with a Mandibuzz. This is not good because Sableye does lose to Mandibuzz. Mandibuzz is super bulky. You basically have to land two returns to win this matchup, and any smart battler will not allow that to happen. So here we go. We're going to look to get off this first return here. And uh, they do let that go through. They can tank one, but they cannot tank two. Um, so we're going to test them here a little bit, guys. Um, we're going to shield this. Kind of crazy, but I really wanted to see where their motivations lied with uh, how they want to uh, use their shields. If they want to flip, uh, keep switch advantage, this is a good indicator taking it to the one-to-one -one shield. We're going to bait with a foul play, and we do get the shield. Okay. So now, knowing that uh, Stunfisk leads usually come accompanied with a Venusaur in the back, I am contemplating this. I am making a hard read that there is a Venusaur in the back, so we're going to come in with Metacham and look to farm this Mandibuzz down. This is our only chance to uh, take this battle, guys, and they are staying in. They want to get off some damage. They obviously don't want to come in to, uh, with Stunfist, so we're going to farm this down all the way down. Say bye-bye to Mandibuzz. Show us the Venusaur. You run Stunfisk in the lead. You got a Venusaur in the back, and there, there it is right there. So Metacham with an energy advantage on Venusaur wins, guys. E and even shields. We do get the shield with that Ice Punch, and here we go. We get to the Psychic, guys. Psychic nearly one-shots a Venusaur in the Great League from full health. And boom, there it is. Bye-bye, Venusaur. And they come back in with that stun fist. So now it is game on, guys. Sableye, or, uh, Metacham has a shield. Uh, we're getting low on health. But XL Metacham is an absolute beast in the Great League, guys. We're going to call this. Their win condition is us shielding a rock slide bait, and we call it correctly, guys. So now this is game on. Like I said, we're going to get to this ice punch here. This will be getting the stun fisk extremely low. XL Metacham, super tanky. These mud shots are not going to take us out, and we counter it down, and they see the writing on the wall, guys. They concede the match. That's going to be a good game. Well played to this battler. My goodness, Metachamp putting the team on its back, coming in clutch, closing the game strong. If you like what you're seeing, guys, give the video a like. Again, that is the best thing you can really do to help this channel out. And we are met with a Bastard on Mirror match. Okay, so let's see how to play the Mirror, guys, with this Bastiodon Metachamp team. Seeing that they have a Best Buddy uh, ribbon on this Bastiodon, I'm thinking that this is an XL, and this is where the non-XL comes in. It's doing more damage. Although it is less bulky, it is doing more damage, and the way I like to play the Bastiodon Mirror is, see right there, guys? You go for the extra. That is, that is pivotal in these Mirror matchups, guys. Always go for the extra, even though... Being non-XL, you would win CMP. I still go for the extra because these mirror matches are all about energy management, guys. So this is how you get ahead in these mirror matchups. You go for that extra, and there we go. We snuck another one through. That is key to winning these mirror matchups. I cannot stress that enough, guys. We're not shielding anything. Uh, Bastion, we know, is an absolute tank. And uh, after the third flamethrower, we will look to swap into uh, Sableye and get ahead on energy and get this Bastion on even lower on health. And they know that. They clearly have experience with this team as well, guys. They go right into their own Sableye. And uh, we did get ahead. And again, with these uh, mirror matchups, um, it lo it's looking like they have the same exact team, guys. So this is all about energy management, sneaking uh, fast moves through. That is how I play these mirrors. We got to go shield for shield with this uh, Sableye here. Uh, we have to flip switch, especially, you know, with them. It's looking like they have the same exact team. So uh, very sweaty battle here. We're going shield for shield. Uh, we sneak in through Shadow Claws. Um, we do deny them that one. 
and uh, we're going to look to get off uh, this foul play here. We are one off from the next foul play, and because we snuck one through, we're able to get to it, guys, and flip switch advantage. That is how you play the mirror, guys. That's how you get ahead with this team if you're faced up against the same exact team. And they come back in with Bastiodon, so that is a tell that they do have a Metacham in the back. And they elect to throw energy right away. They don't want their Metacham on our Sableye, and there it is right there. Uh, their own me meta cham, and again with these mirrors, you gotta sneak through fast moves. That is the only way to win, guys. Unless uh, if you don't do that, it's really IV dependent, and that is really out of your control. So you control what you can control. We snuck one through right there, so that is going to allow us to get to another psychic. We can uh, shield you down. Meta cham is a bulky, bulky beast in the Great League. We can tank it. And uh, it looks like they panicked, and they knew that we snuck one through. They're going for the ice punch. We tank that as well, guys. Metacham is a beast. Sneaking through that counter allows us to get to the second Psychic, finishing off this opposing Metacham. And we say bye-bye, Metacham, and that Bastiodon can do nothing to our, our Metacham. And they, they know that. They concede the match. They see the writing on the wall. That's how you play the mirror, guys. That's going to be a good game to this battler. Now, guys, are you starting to see why this team made my top five best teams for the Great League video, guys? This was team number three. This is an amazing team, guys. I love it. And we're met with a Swampert, another lead loss. So let's play out of another lead loss with this amazing team. We go into our Sableye. They come in with a Zoomerol. All right. So, guys, you got to make the reads. Knowing that they have a Shadow Swampert, it is pretty glassy in the Great League. They cannot go down on shields. They will give up one. But they don't know that we are willing to give up two. We need to land a return. And if we land the return, guys, the Azumarill will be low enough to where we can farm down. Yes, we will have uh, to go down on shields, but we will gladly go down on shields to take switch advantage because Swampert on Bastiodon is an absolute nightmare and pretty much a guaranteed loss, guys. So... That is exactly what we're going to do. That is our plan for a zoom roll. That is how you play a zoom roll. Um, most battlers will not double shield their zoom roll, especially knowing that they have a shadow swampert. And we say bye bye to that a zoom roll. We get to a foul play. This will likely get that last shield. Our shadow swampert, very glassy in the Great League. They do not want to tank a, a foul play on their swampert here. And uh, they're not going to let us get to another one. Knowing that a foul play with nearly one shot, they're going to take us out. They're throwing their energy. That is amazing. We're going to come in with Metacham, of course, and we just need to get off one Ice Punch, guys. Uh, Swampert or Shadow Swampert in the Great League is guaranteed to have a Skarmory in the back, guys. So that is good news for our Bastion. They know that. They know they've got a Skarmory in the back. They know it's over. They see the writing on the wall, guys. We were getting to that Ice Punch, and that would have taken them out. That's going to be a good game to this battler. So, guys, that is the team. 5-0 and oh with Bastiodon, Metacham, and Sableye. This is why it made my top five best teams for the Great League, guys. This team is busted strong in the Great League. I've ran this team a number of times in the past. I really wanted to... Uh, I know a lot of you guys are new to the channel, so I wanted to show you how to run this team. This set could not have gone better to really showcase this team to you guys and show you how to really play it. Um, we saw some dominant uh, lead, winning leads, guys. Those, of course, are easy wins for you. But we also were able to see the mirror match and how to play that, guys. You got to really be dialed in for those mirrors. It's all about energy management going up against a mirror team. Um, it's all about sneaking through those fast moves and managing your energy, guys. And we saw some lead losses going up against a Stunfisk lead and a Swampert lead. This team is so strong that you can easily play out of lead losses with this team, guys. Sableye is a beast. It is one of the best safe swaps in this great league, guys. Um, it's able it's able to put out so much damage and flip switch advantage on so many teams Such a good team guys. Ah, so fun. I love this team. One of my favorites It does lose to my number one favorite team guys Which was also featured in my top five best teams video and that is the Skarmory 
uh, Vigoroth's drafty team. This team does lose to that. Um, but you can win it. A lot of people don't know the secrets. I will reveal the secret here, guys. If you're met with that team, that is uh, Skarmory, Vigoroth, and Scrafty. If, you, if you're met with a Skarmory lead, uh, switch into... Uh, well, they're going to switch out. They have to switch out. So they're going to swap into the Vigoroth. You can't, Instead of coming in with Metacham, because that is how you lose with this team to that team, come in with Sableye. Yes, it is resisting your Shadow Claws, but you can do enough heavy damage with Foul Play to where you can flip that. And then Metachan absolutely runs through uh, Scrafty. You can realign your Bastidon to the Skarmory. That's how you win up against that team. I've not revealed that secret up until now, but I was feeling... Uh, it's a holiday season. I've, I was feeling uh, pretty pretty uh, charitable, feeling pretty good. We got a 5-0 with this team, guys. I'm feeling great. I was able to sh give you a lot of good looks with this team. So, because we got a 5-0, guys, I can't I can't just, you know, show you a 5-0. I got to show you one loss, guys. So, <laughs> we've got a bonus battle here, guys, coming up pretty soon. And I am proud to show this loss this in this bonus battle that we're about to see, guys. Because it lo it, I, I lost to one of my teams that I featured in my top five best teams video, guys. Again, if you have not seen my top five best teams for the Great League, hop on the channel. Check it out. This next battle is a loss. It's a bonus battle. But we lose to team number one in my top five best teams for the Great League video. And that that is that team number one is Pidgeot, Trevenant, Safe Swap with Medicham in the back, guys. Um, I am proud to show this loss. I wanted to show you guys how strong team number one is from my top five best teams for the Great League video. And here we go. Let's see it, guys. I'm so proud. I never have I been so proud to showcase one of my losses, guys. But it's to it's to a team that I created for my top five best teams. I got to show you guys how good this team is. And here it is, the Pidgeot lead. Uh, they're going to swap in the Trevenant. That is exactly what you want to do. We're going to go into Sableye. So this is a very bait-dependent matchup, guys. And uh, this was early in the morning. I hadn't had my coffee yet, guys. You, you got to see the bait coming a mile away. Even if it is the Shadow Ball, um, you can tank that and still flip this. So uh, that is the downfall in this loss, guys. And they go Sea Bomb again. Um they will have to go down two shields if you tank that Shadow Ball. Um, but they, they elect to take shield advantage, and that is pivotal in this in this uh, match, guys. So they come back in with Pidgeot to farm us down. Not before we can get off a non-debuffed Foul Play. They have not yet gotten off their Feather Dance, but they're just going to look to farm down and have some loaded energy. Let's see the Metacham. There it is. That's the team I created. Team number one from my top five best teams. I love it, guys. And I know you guys have been commenting. A lot of you guys hit legend with this team. A lot of you guys hit legend with my Skarmory, Vigoroth, Scrafty team. Uh, nothing warms my heart more than to read those comments. And I I, I gladly showcase this because this, this team that we're going up against here is very strong. That's why it was team number one in my top five best teams video. Metacham down a shield cannot do anything to the opposing Metacham if they are up a shield. What we should have done was shielded that Psychic. Uh, that would have given us a chance, but we're going back to back Ice Punch, and yeah, they, they can just double shield and counter down. That's going to be a good game to them. This Bastion does not have a prayer, guys. They're just going to beat us down. We're gonna, our poor Bastiodon's taking a beating from this Metacham. We're going to shield this. Likely the Ice Punch. Um, now, our one shot to win was them not catching our, our Flamethrower. Like I said, this was like the first battle of the day, and I had not had my coffee. That is a no-no. We were not as dialed in, but uh, hats off to this trainer. They played that team very well. Nothing warms my heart more than to see them playing one of the teams that I created extremely well well deserved win for them guys they're gonna obviously take this one like i said it was a loss but uh i i uh, it's a I, I am um very honored very much honored so i had to show you guys that I can't just show all the wins gotta show some losses too on the channel that's what it's all about especially losing to a team that i created ah that is that is amazing so
I hope you guys all enjoyed seeing how to run this uh, Bastiodon Metacham Sableye team. It is such an OP team, guys, if you're still looking for that late season push. We still have plenty of time if you're close. Run one of my top five best teams. The, t the, the, f the first three are amazing. Um, this, this one that we just lost to was team number one. Team number two is my Skarmory Vigoroth Scrafty team. You guys are absolutely killing it with that team. I do read the comments. Warms my heart. And I wanted to show team number three uh, in this video, guys, with Bastiodon, Metacham, and Sableye. Any of those three teams or the other two, um, number four, number five, will do very well as well. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you uh, got a better look at how to play this team. We got a lot of good looks. I hope you enjoyed. As always, guys, I thank you for watching and keep up the grind. Thank you, guys.